Hello everyone in Tubeland, Nintendo fanboy, Osama back here as always. Alright, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a couple weeks now. Um, I think I did it a long time ago. Um, uh, talking about this, but yeah. It, think, a lot of things have changed. I'm just trying to think here. A lot of things have changed in the last couple years. Uh, and it's changing fast, like every year. Especially when a new system comes out. Um, video game, obviously you know what that video, what the title of the video is. It's uh, Video Game Preservation. Um, how do we preserve games? Like, where, what, what is a really stable way to do that? Um, movies have that. It has streaming services. You know, that you pay for monthly and you can watch all the movies and TV. Even TV does have that too. I mean, gaming is getting to that point where we do have that. I mean, we have Game Pass, we have P the PSN. You can play classic games on there. And obviously, the Nintendo Switch online thing. But, like, Game Pass, I think, yeah, you can just play the games, pay the, pay the service, and play whatever. But it's like older games, though. Like, I'm just trying to think. I mean, we have tons of remasters coming out this generation, and even last generation, just tons of remasters and remakes and collections. I mean, that's kind of where I go towards, is 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 that. It's it's video game collections, I mean, compla compilations, whatever you want to call them. Um, I mean, we just... <laughs> We just got the new Sonic Collections. What is it called? Origins Collection or whatever? Plus Origins Sonic Collections. I mean, there's been so many Sonic Collections and Sega coll Sega Collections. I mean, obviously we've also gotten, um, can't forget the plug and play systems. The NES, Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis systems, both of them. I mean, there's so many of that. That's, I mean, that's how you preserve games. They're really, I mean, it's how companies make their money, obviously, by rehashing their classic games, and it's how they make a profit. But for us, and for just gaming in general, how you save retro games and not have them die and fall into obscurity, like, that that's a problem. I mean, that's the only way to do it is to come out with these collections over and over again and remaster Paper Mario now and Mario RPG where we can have it for an all new audience and obviously we had the virtual console for Wii and Wii U and 3DS and those are gone now those are the things of the past kids what is, what's the age 16 I don't even know what the Wii virtual console even is if you see Wii virtual console you're like what the hell are you even talking about I don't even think some of them even know what Xbox Game Pass is, probably. I mean, their parents probably... Their parents... The parents that probably buy an Xbox for their kid... Maybe you know what... A, I don't know. Do they know what Xbox Game Pass is? Do they know what... If a, kid, if a parent bought their kid a Switch, do they know what Nintendo Switch Online even is? I mean, it's like... Uh, I think about all that, and it's just like... I know I'm kind of rambling on here, but... That's how you introduce the younger generation to... I mean, we're kind of getting into that topic here. Introducing the younger generation to older games. Old, like, we're talking older games. Like, Atari, and arcade stuff, and NES, and Super Nintendo. Like, Genesis. Like that, like that era, you know what I mean? Like, early 80s, all the way to like mid, maybe mid 90s, all the way up to the 64, maybe PS1, I guess, whatever. Like, that's how you... I mean, the only way to... Pres I mean, they don't... Like I said, the Switch Online, we have that with Game Boy, with this Genesis on there. Um, even though it slowly rolls up. I don't know what Nintendo's going to do with their next system. I don't know how you just transfer all that over to the next one. Um, the Switch Online here to s stay in some form for the next Nintendo system. I don't know. I mean, I can't speak for that, so I, don't, I really, I really don't, I really don't know. Oh man, I just, I think about gaming as a whole. Like, how do you save it? How do you?
do that? How do you do it right? I guess collections are just how we do it. Um, and then on switch online, game pass. What do you guys think? What do you, what do you propose? What do you do? What do you, what do you propose about video game preservation and how to? Uh, like I said, I mean, what more can I possibly say here without repeating myself? Like, even obviously when you have your classic like Mario's and Zelda's and Final Fantasies and Castlevanias and Mega Man's and all these like Metroids, they're not gonna fall into obscurity, but I'm afraid other games will and people just don't know what they are. I mean, a lot of these franchises though, when you think of it, like the biggest, when you, th when you think of at least the top 10, maybe top 20 gaming franchises of all time, just think about them right now, whatever, we're probably thinking of the same franchises. Mario, I don't know, I mean, I don't know, Final Fantasy, whatever the hell, Mega Man, Sonic, <laughs> maybe Castlevania, I don't know. They all sell themselves, especially Mario, Zelda, and Donkey Kong, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, even spin-off series as well. They all sell themselves, they're all out there all the time. You always know, see advertisements out there for all of them. Um, And Nintendo does their videos about Switch Online, letting people know about that. Probably around the holidays, around this time, you'll probably see another video on their channel about that, about Switch Online. Um, just introducing them, even, introducing, even though it's been out for a little while now, you know. <laughs> um, but they've been adding, you know, new systems and GBA and Game Boy and Sega Genesis and 64. Uh, I mean, look at we have Goldeneye. We can play Goldeneye, which really no one really talks about anymore, but on Switch Online, but and the Xbox. Rare replay thing, but yeah, like it's just so cool, man. It's just so cool to play that and all these other awesome games that are coming out. I mean, Zelda, Orc of, Oracle of Ages, and Seasons are on there. <laughs> it's just it's so, it's so cool. I didn't I didn't I didn't expect that. And I think yeah, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. It's coming out. It was a GBA game, obviously. Kirby, one of the many Kirby games. Really good Kirby game, by the way. If you haven't played played it, it will be on there. Is it early next month? I think October. So yeah, like I, I'm just kind of rambling on here. I know I'm just kind of just bleh, spitting everything out here. But I don't know. I don't know how to save gaming in general. Like movies have that. You know, like I said, you have streaming services, and you have obviously when you when you talk about movie streaming services and TV and all that stuff. You have specific streaming services for different movie studios. Like Peacock has Universal. Warner Brothers has Max. Sony has Netflix. I think some of their movies go on there. And Stars. For those that don't know, I don't know. But Sony and Netflix kind of have a deal. But, um... And there's other services that have their own movies. I'm trying to think. Like, like Paramount Plus is kind of from about that. I mean, that's one of the bigger streaming services out there. So getting bigger too, um, by the year, but when you're talking about gaming, it's like, there's no place you can really put it, there's just nothing, except the only thing I zone in on when it comes to video game preservation and saving retro gaming, I mean, I don't even know how you, how you even define retro gaming anymore, I guess it's something that's 15 years or older, or, or older, 15 years or old. I don't know how you define it. I guess the Wii is, and PS2 and Xbox original is... GameCube, I don't know, is that retro? Whatever. The, the only thing I zone in on, like I said millions of times already, I don't like repeating myself, but it's it's collections, <laughs> compilations, you know, like the Sonic collection, and I'm just kind of naming off names here, like the Bat and Kados thing that's coming out, or is that already out? I don't know. Bat and Kados, one and two, that's already Bat and Kados, one and Origins, and the uh, Trace Memory. Collection. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. I mean, there's just so many collections, so many remasters. Oh my god, it's insane. I have to have, like, fucking... How many hands and arms to count on them? Count all of them that are coming out. Like I said, Mario RPG. We're getting Paper Mario Remaster. Paper Mario Thousand Years War, sorry. And Mario RPG. Mario vs. Donkey Kong, the first one. That was a GBA game. What's next? Mario Land 1 and 2? Like... Be kind of cool to get remasters of those, but like so many collections too, so many collections. Napco does that. That's the only thing I can think of when I when I when I 
when I think of preservation, it's the collections. That's the only way to, way to do it, I guess. And, I mean, do you want to rebuy the same old game over and over again? Do you want to buy the original Super Mario Brothers again for the millionth time? <laughs> I mean, you can play it on the Super Mario... Uh, yeah, the Switch Online thing. I mean, and you probably... If you do remember the Wii Virtual Console, and obviously you probably do remember Wii, Wii U Virtual Console. It hasn't been that long, but... I think the Wii Virtual Console is way better. It was just way better organized. It was just, I don't know. I guess something nostalgic about it, I guess. Because I was still a teenager when that was still around. So, or when it came out, I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got, you know, Xbox Game Pass, PSN. They have their classic games on there. They put games on there every like, monthly. Get new games on there and all that. And, um... But everything's changed. It's changed so much. It's crazy. When you go from the virtual console to the Switch Online and all that, and see all these games, they're just there. And they don't take them off. You know what I mean? They're just, they're just there. I just don't know how they're going to do it for the next system. Are they going to... Is it going to be slow, rolling, drip feed type of thing? Where it's like one game at a time, and one game a month, and 64. Is it going to be GameCube? <laughs> Is it going to be Wii? You know what I mean? Like DS? That's the next system that I can be on the Switch Online. Before the Switch dies, I think it, I think the DS could definitely be on there. Probably, you know what I mean? I can definitely picture DS with the price go up, probably, I don't know. But anyways, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling on. How do we save gaming preservation? How do we save gaming? What is the perfect format for that? Is it just collections over and over again? Buying the same game over and over again? Mario and Sonic and Mega Man collections and Resident Evil and... Devil May Cry. I mean, I just name off all these collections that have come out in the last uh, uh, ten years, <laughs> five years. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's really kind of makes your head spin how many collections and remasters are out there. But I guess you gotta have them. It's your choice to buy them. Um, Skyward Sword collection. I still haven't even bought that. It's not Skyward Sword collection. I mean, Skyward Sword remaster. Uh, some about that. Yeah, it's out of colors. Someone picked it up for Switch. Um, there's just so many. Um, so, yeah. What do we do to save gaming? Save it. Not like it's in trouble or anything like that. I'm not saying that. Not to be dramatic. Because <laughs> there's no need to be dramatic about it. But, I don't know. Yeah, collections, remasters, remakes. I guess that's kind of where we're at. For the time being, how you really... Don't make a precious game fall into obscurity and just let it die. You know, a horrible death where it's like, Okay, yeah, I played that. But now I can't anymore. But now you can because there's a collection. <laughs> Which is great. You know what I mean? Like, I may be going off on a tangent here, but I really want a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers collection. Like, all the classic games. You know what I mean? Like, I really want a Power Rangers collection. Got the Disney Afternoon collection. And then, which is still not on the Switch, by the way. I have no idea why the Disney Afternoon collection is not on there. Um, obviously, we've got the TMNT collection last year. Which is great, but yeah, no, like I, I really want a Power Rangers collection. Um, and they also announced Gargoyles, that Gargoyles game, but Limited Run Games is doing it, which is eh. I don't like lim lim limited run games for many reasons, but I guess they're good for preservation in some form. But they're kind of a ripoff, and pe when people order games from them, it takes a long time to get the games from them. You know what I mean? And they're limited. That's why they're called limited run games. But I don't know. I guess I'm kind of kind of glad I actually brought them up. Actually, I just kind of out of nowhere. But yeah. Anyways, comment down below. So this is all I have to say. Rambling on here. Peace out. I can talk about this for a million or fifteen more minutes. So yeah. Peace out. What do you think about this? So more random more random videos coming soon. Peace out. Later. Bye.